All right, 2023 Top Scrum Dual Case PYT 16. This is four boxes of additional compensation for the missing autos. Courtesy of Backer. Out of his own pocket. He's just uh, a good man. I harassed him enough times. He said, sure, no problem. He was always happy to do it. He's just busy. And um, he doesn't get anything fr from this, so this is just his doing the right thing slash generosity. Derek also, with some assistance on these two four-box ads, so thank you to the Dill Pickle, of course. He's going to send out an email. <laughs> He's going to send out an email um, at some point later today, if he hasn't already, which I don't think he has, about... Um, this break and the last break that we just did, which is just four boxes of addition for compensation. So, video will be uploaded. You guys will be able to see it. This is the list of people that were in the actual break. So, I did see Uncut Gems Purple Haze. I thought it was terrible. I thought it was the worst movie he's ever made. I thought it was an improper depiction of a lot about sports gambling in New York City. I thought it was a bad look for him. No, Max, we just did one other one, but these are just these are just um, boxes that we're adding to the two breaks that were missing some autos. Well, you didn't. The, the ending is, is the most ridiculous part, Jay Buck. I'm sure you heard about it. Thought I saw a radiating rookie, but I did not. Yeah, I really didn't like it, Purple Haze. I really, un un I thought Uncut Gems was was a bad movie. Yeah, we're gonna do the pristine today. I feel I must have seen that J Box, but I can't remember that one. Who's the girl in that movie? Yeah, I think I did see that. Emily Watson, I think I did see that. I still haven't seen Oppenheimer, no. Yes, Antoinette. Yeah, Pristine will go today. Is, don't worry. I couldn't find it last time. Oh, come on, Pax. Covering up the view. I couldn't find it last time, but um, I found them. Backer told me where they were. Now I know where the packs are. Or where the pristine is, I mean. Um, oh, maybe I haven't seen that, j -Bock. Maybe I haven't seen that. Because I feel like I'd remember that plot. I think when Wifey gets home, I'll see if she wants to watch Oppenheimer. She'll probably say no, but I'll try anyway. Good luck, everybody. This is the four-box compensation for PYT.
16, the dual case extravagans is missing 12 autos, so we're adding four boxes of Jumbo. Spencer Steer base auto is going to be our first of 12 autos. Hopefully we get all 12 here. For the Reds, going to Tommy Stazzle. It's very sticky, This uh, these four boxes here. Shohei, Nate Eaton on the Priz. What's up, Mr. Wood? I don't think I saw that. I feel like I'd remember what you guys are talking about. I don't think I've seen it. If Oppenheimer is a thinker, then I ain't bringing the wife. <laughs> Gunner, prison. Yoshida base. Purple speckle of Cal Mitchell for the Pirates. 299. Max Meyer for the fish to 150 blue. Ray Wave. Tatis to 399. Cal Stevenson Prism and Oscar Colas Refractor. New Darvish to 99 on the relic piece for the Padres. Oh, wow. We have a red card. No auto, but let's just do it. Ah, eh, you know what? Okay, we'll guess it. Go ahead. Guess the red card for $42. It's not an autograph. No auto on the red, but it's still nonetheless, it's a red. Guess the red if you guys want for 42 Um, so the way we do the sorting is different for every product, but there's some general consistencies, um, for this particular product, the way that everybody's different, by the way, Shohei, Shohei on the base card, some of the breakers do it slightly differently. We try to stay as consistent as possible, but every once in a while, maybe uh, one breaker does it a little bit differently than the others, but, um, in general, it's 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 pretty consistent. The way we do it is, so for example, this pile is a rookie pile, an insert pile, out of this product, for example. All rookies is 100% of rookies, 100% of inserts, 100% of refractors, and 100% of prisms. Rookie prisms and rookie refractors that aren't pitchers or aren't good pitchers, like special pitchers, like Max Meyer with no disrespect to Max, but he's not quite special enough, right? go in a different pile over here, and then I sleeve them to be top-loaded by the sorters at a later time. This pile is the vets that are not rookies and not inserts, not refractors, not prisms. That that does not get sleeved, but you get shipped everything. And then everything else that I put in a different pile, I'm doing something with here. It's either getting sorted or, or top-loaded or 
sleeved or whatnot. Hopefully that, oop, wrong pile. Hopefully that answered your question. But everything gets shipped, so. The rookies and the inserts, there's pool hosts on the negative. The rookies and the inserts and the um, refractors and the prisms, they all get sleeved by the sorters. Base auto, Vargas, second one of the case, but first one of this half of the break. Tovar and the refractor. Base, oh no, not a base. Refractor auto of James Outman. Very nice. I am Purple Haze. I've been receiving some stu stuff in the mail from you guys. Um, Mr. Kurtz sent me some nice Duke Snyder stuff that I received the other day. And then I have to go to the post office to pick up some more. That was what I was trying to go to the post office for. Blue Wave. Nolan Gorman. Not bad at all. Nolan Gorman for the Cardinals. To 75. Yeah. You know what, though, Jay Buck? It's better to do too much than too little. I think you would agree. Have to learn somehow. I'd rather not do too little than too much at the beginning. But, uh, but yeah, it was. I definitely was doing too much for a while. In every product, I generally err on the side of of top loading too much and then and then you can always pull it back as you learn the product a little bit you know I definitely didn't know what I was doing at the beginning but better safe than sorry if you haven't gotten your guess in for the red yet I'm gonna show it in a second here so get your guesses in for the red. Nice. Michael Harris variation for the Frosty Dog. Look at that. A little hit in the morning for the dog. Frosty. Getting the Harris on the variation. Very nice, sir. Base auto of Villar with the Nolik throw. J Bach, it's kind of funny how based on what you, the way in which you get certain things, you can always tell who sent it to you, right? Or who, who did the break. <laughs> All right, let's see. Speaking of break, let's do this red card, huh? Hope you guys got your guesses in. Good luck. Gunner base. Gunner Technicolor in the back there. Oh my. It's a red expose. Wow. I didn't see that coming. Upside down, I think. Wow. Josh Young on the red expose. One out of five for Jimmy James. That is sweet. Wow. Expose, this thing is super rare. Super rare. Let me take a picture of Young. That is super, super rare. What's up, Wiggy? Joseph got the guess? Wow, nice. I'm impressed that anybody got the guess, given that it was an expose that made it a tougher guess to hit. But nonetheless, you got it done. Let me take a picture of Josh Young, since you got it done. I'll put 42 on your account, Joseph.
Nice card. Joseph, what's uh actually hold on. What's a, a snippet of your email? Let me see if I can find it. I need I need a snippet of your email so I can give you your credit. You don't have to give me you don't have to tell me the the whole email, but that's just a piece. Wow. That's amazing, ODG. I didn't know that you hit that. That's awesome, bro. Congrats. That's amazing. Wow. It was destiny, ODG. That's awesome. Okay, I'll, I'll give it to you one second, Joseph. I got you. That's fantastic. Kyle Stowers on the base auto. Wow, that's great. I had no idea. That's really sweet. ODG. What's your name on the prism? It's all about the end of the night mojo sometimes. Man, I can't believe we had a red expose in this half. Wow. That is spicy. Super rare. Gunner base. Really sticky cards here. Slowing the brown dog down. Gunner. He's a future star. And then Bubba, he got DFA'd by the Rangers. But nonetheless, he's a refractor rookie. So, he gets sleeved. I don't think the guy that asked me the question, I don't think he ever responded. I, he asked me how we do the top loading and the sorting and whatever. I wonder if he left the room before he heard the answer. Hopefully not. Always JJ Boudet, nice. That's hilarious. I usually, I like picking JJ. All right, I put it on your account, you're good. Corbin Bass, Acuna Jr. Bass. Bo Naylor, not a base. Rosario, not a base, because they're Prism and Refractor, respectively. See another negative. This one's a rookie. Ryan Nelson for the Diamondbacks on the negative. Man, this case was just filled with the negatives, because this is the second half of the case. That's our fourth negative. They really gave us lots of negatives in this case. We have a base auto coming up, but not before some base cards. Not before some base cards. After some base cards. It's going to be Graham Ashcraft. Graham on the base auto. Is that a refractor auto coming up? I can't tell if that's an auto or not. It might be a refractor auto, though. Let's see. Yep. Where's Waldo? Bucky 13 out of 499 for the Oakland Athletics. Soon to be Las Vegas Athletics, unless they change their name, which I don't think they will. Unless they don't move here, which they might not. You never know. We'll find out. Where's Waldo to the Torpedo? Boom. Yeah, this was a good case. Um, next, you need a good player for the next guess? I mean, in Bowman, my guess is usually Nancy Pelosi. Um... Trying to think of a good guess for you. Honestly, Villar's not a bad guess. 
Luis Liberato is not a bad guess. Bryce Johnson for the Giants. He's a good guess. I don't know how much they normally are. Um, thin blue. Hold on a second. Let me finish the break and I'll take a look at it. Thin blue. Yeah, they're obviously not changing. I was just I was just joking around, Jay Buck. Grishop to 125 on the blue scope. If there was ever a time to rebrand and change their name, though, it's when they move to Vegas. But I don't think they're going to change it. I a million percent agree with you. Another base auto coming up here. A lot of sticky pieces. Gerard, base auto for the fish. Wow, that's strong, Andy. Wow. It's a nice hit. Sanga, Refractor, Gunner Base, Corbin Base, Acuna Jr., and then Zach Gallen on the negative. Another negative. Man, they are giving us so many negatives and not that much color. But the rest of the case is good, so it's okay. They're giving us good color in the autos, kind of. I still feel like we were, I feel like we're owed one nice color auto, but I could be crazy. Purple Speckle Ink, Cody Clements, Tigers, to two ninety nine. I feel like they didn't they didn't give us any gold autos, no gold or better autos in this case. No gold wave, no gold. Yeah, the exposés are crazy rare. Yep, what Jay Bach just said is correct. To 10, to 5, and to 1, and that is it. A total of 16 of each of them. How many different... What's up, Harrison? How many... Um, how many different players are there on the expose list? On the expose checklist? I'm going to guess not that many. Maybe like, what, 20? All right, Thin Blue, you can send it. I took them out for you, assuming nobody else scooped them first. 30 players in the checklist? That's not bad. My real guess was 25, but I wanted to undershoot. So I said 20. Yoshida Base. Stevenson Refractor. Refractor auto coming up. Looks like a red strip. Outfielder. How about Yoshida Refractor auto for Tommy Stossel? Have a good morning, Tommy Stossel. That's a strong piece. This this these four boxes were great. <laughs> Harrison. 
These are good four boxes right here. Yoshida Refractor Auto. It's a nice card. Very clean. Very clean copy. Perfectly centered. Super crispy. Very nice hit for Tommy. Send that puppy in for grading, Tommy. Send that puppy in to get a little 10 ball. Thank you, Finn. I didn't write, I took them out of the store for you. If somebody happened to have grabbed the Mets between me starting this break and taking them out of the store right now, then I'll, I'll refund you. But I'm, I'm, I would imagine that we're safe. That's a pricey, a pricey team, so you should be good. But I'll double check after the break. And I'll write your name in there. Do, 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 Base auto of Nate Eaton. Had to get our Nate Eaton in there. Our Nate Eaton fix here at the end. Torque. Torque. To 99. It's going to be our last numbered piece. The Nolan Gorman refractor behind is going to be our last card of substance, as I like to say. We're going to do a recap in just a moment. Very solid four extra boxes that Backer was kind enough to throw in for you guys since the original break was missing a dozen autos. Backer is a good man. And he did the right thing by taking care of you. Also, the Dill Pickle helped out. It was a team effort between the Brown Dog, the Dill Pickle, and the Backer. So thank you for your patience on the missing autos, and I hope you guys hit in your four boxes of compensation. Let's do a recap. Mookie, Acuna, Acuna, Shohei, and Shohei. Some short print stuff. We got some negatives. Zach Gallen, Ryan Nelson, and Pujols, plus a Michael Harris. The variation. We also had some numbered stuff. Torque to 99. Von Grisham 125. Nolan Gorman Blue Wave to 75. Cal Mitchell at 299. Tatis on the magenta. And then New Darvish on the relic piece to 99. I think those were the only two non rookies that I just read off those last two. All right, some base autos. Nate Eaton. Gerar, Ashcraft, Stowers, Villar, Vargas, and Spencer Steer. And then also some numbered autos. Yoshida Refractor, Cody Clemens, Purple Speckle Auto, Where's Waldo Refractor, Outman Refractor, and Max Meyer for the fish to 150 on the Blue Ray Wave Inc. Plus, not autoed, but a very, very sexy card here. One out of five, first in the print, Josh Young. Red Expose. Very, very tough hit for Jimmy James and the Rangers. Thank you guys so much for joining. That was the added four boxers to PYT. Four boxes, excuse me. The PYT 16th, the two case, dual case, tops chrome. Thank you.